Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, March 8, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. So the link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. As you can see, we did fall the last three days of the on Wednesday, Thursday, and on Friday, and hit support at the 50 moving average. Technical indicators, they are still very bearish at this point. It completely turned around here on Wednesday, and you look at stochastic, it is very negative. The MACD is very negative, heading towards zero. The RSI is also fairly flat, and the CCI is negative at this point. So we are hitting the bottom of the Bollinger Band and then we're pulling back. Question is whether or not we manage to rally above the 20 exponential again or if we break the 50 and head lower. We have tested the 50 in the past and also broken the 50. This was basically the Brexit negotiation and of course there was a lot of downward pressure on on this um, currency pair back then. US dollar has continued to appreciate and that is basically working against this currency pair. If we rally from here, then we could take out the, the 20 exponential, then head back towards these previous highs here, roughly out to 1403, and then head towards these highs. If 50 breaks, then we could head all the way down to the 100 moving average at 1360. So let's look at the US dollar, Japanese yen. This continues to rally. We are Technically, at this point, looking for a pullback in the US dollar, Japanese yen. We are way outside of the Bollinger Band right here. We are significantly overstretched, significantly overbought. For example, the RSI is at 76, but technical indicators otherwise are very bullish. We did pull back a little bit. If we get a red candlestick here on Monday, then our opening of red candlestick on Monday and a closing underneath these previous uh, these lows then we could head towards the 20 exponential so that's a move from the previous uh, level towards uh, the fall of roughly 1.89 percent towards the 20 exponential before going higher we have changed a uh, completely direction here we were in a downtrend now we are in an uptrend we have broken uh, this previous upward channel completely crushed that but it basically overshot the question is whether or not we fall back towards the top of this channel and then continue higher or we basically break inside the channel again go towards the support and then continue within this channel so that is going to be the question uh, otherwise this is not the place to buy this it is significantly over at this point and is looking for a correction back towards the downside so euro us dollar this is looking very dreadful to be fairly honest we broke the 200 moving average and basically stopped underneath the 200 moving average which is a very very negative sign so the same goes for the us from the great british pound and the us dollar this is basically downward pressure on both of these currency pairs when uh, at this current stage but we are significantly overstretched. We are way outside of the Bollinger Band here. We are on the edge of being oversold. However, technical indicators otherwise are very negative. So if we get another red candlestick here, we could head all the way down to the 300 moving average. And that's a drop of roughly 2.3%. US dollar is appreciating and will mostly continue appreciating for the foreseeable future. So let's look at the Aussie dollar, US dollar. We found support here at the 100 moving average, give or take, that is uh, around 0 0.76, and uh, we bounced from there quite heavily. Well, so we went outside of the Bollinger Band, got very overstretched, and then people started buying into this. We could continue lower. There's a lot of room to the downside. We're only at 45 here in the in the RSI. Technical indicators are looking dreadful. We're heading near zero here in um, the MACD, which is going to be, uh, well, that's going to put even more pressure forward to the downside. Momentum is technically to the downside at this current stage. We are uh, within this at this kind of at this point 
going slowly towards the center. Otherwise, we'll probably break out when we hit towards the 150 uh, moving average. But break at the 100 moving average, that opens the door to the 100, 150. And that's a drop from where we are at the moment to the 150, uh, roughly 3%. So it could drop significantly further. Uh, it doesn't mean that we won't have a rally up towards the 50 and the 20 exponential, but they will most likely act as resistant and then will break uh, further down. So let's look at the US dollar, Canadian dollar. We did rally significantly above the 50 moving average, but it's the same story here. Every time we get to the 50 or even close to the 100 moving average, it tends to break down. And this is a very, very a bearish candlestick. So this is one of those cryptocurrencies, not cryptocurrencies, but the currencies that I'm going to look at to basically short on Monday because this was heavily rejected at the 50 moving average. And at this point, we are most likely going to test the lows here of uh, mine of uh, of 12.48, and that's a drop of roughly 1.36. There's a lot of room to all the way down to the, fifth, to the bottom of the Bollinger Band, and we're at 45 here in the RSI. Technical indicators are turning around yet again. We did not manage to break above the signal line. We're still underneath the signal line here in the RSI, and the MACD is becoming flat. So, yes, this is most likely going to turn around and head back towards the downside. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see your news videos, and you're welcome to join us on our Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.